All right. So I think I'll do two from each. I think will be fair. Okay. So what ones did I give you from number three to do? Because I gave you the last one, was it? The last two or something, was it? The first and the last. Okay. Do you just want to see the last one in tray, is it? Yeah. All right, okay, so I'll do that then. So, tree uh, P. <coughs> X plus 2 power 4. X minus 1 power 4. Okay, so let me try and make as much space as I can. So the first one, bracket... <coughs> bracket, second one, bracket, and bracket. Uh, how many terms do I want in each? Three. Three terms, because I ask you for up to the third term. A sin. And in ascending, yeah. So can you take out your calculators? The first term would be 4z0. Well, I know what that's always going to be. The first term is always 1. Uh, and then 4c1 is 4. And then 4C2 is a 6, yep. And the same here. So all I've done so far is to write in the coefficients that I'll need. 1, 4, and 6. Got it? Okay. <coughs> Next, I'll put in the first term, which is X. And then the second term, which is 2. First term, which is x. Second, which is 2. First, which is x. Second, which is 2. And they get added. And then here, first, which is x. Second, which is uh, minus 1. First, which is x. Second, which is minus 1. And first, which is x. Second, which is minus 1. And they also get added. And now I need to put the powers. Ascending powers of x. So the power starting here with the x is yeah. 0. And then here, 1, 2. And then the power here, 4, 3, and 2. And likewise here, the power 0, 1, and 2. And then here, 4, 3, and 2. Okay, calculators, please. Well, this one here I can see is 16. This will be 8 times 4. 32, is it? 32x. And then this one is 2 squared, which is 4, times 6, which is 24x squared. Right, this one here I can see is just 1. This one here will be minus 1 times 4, which is minus 4. And then this one here is 1 times 6, which is... There's no x? There's no x? No, there is. It's minus 4x. Continue? Yes. Yes. Plus... Minus 6. Plus 6x. Squared. And dot, dot, dot. Okay. I'll try and use colors here. So the first term is the term without the x. So that is 16... Multiply 1. So that's 16. Can we do any other multiplications that would make a number without an x? I don't see any other ones, right? The next one is the ones that make an x. So this, multiply this, makes an x. Uh, and what else? The 32x times the 1. And then, uh, let me write this down further. Okay, so what will they be? That would be 16 minus 64x plus 32x from those two. That's x, isn't it? 16 times 4. Hang on. It, it's 64, isn't it? And then 32x times 1 is 32. Yeah, no, it's not 128, it's minus 32x. You got your sign wrong on the calculator. What? Can you tell how did you 
listen. I don't want anybody writing. I want everybody looking up and listening carefully, okay? Firstly, to get to 16, I just did 16 multiplied 1 because they're the only things that don't have an x in it. Next, I want the things that multiply to make x. So 16 times 4x will make, well, with a minus, uh, 32x. And then 32x times 1. Sorry, what did I say 32 for? That's stupid. 16 times 4 will make the 64x. And then the 32 times the 1 will make the 32 here. And the reason I'm doing these two is because these are the only multiplications that will make an x by itself. The next one I'd have to do would be the ones that make an x squared. Yep. So I can see 16 multiply... Whoops. 16 multiply 6x squared. What else could make an x squared? 32, 32 multiplying 4. And then 24x squared multiplying 1. Okay, so uh, the first one, 16 times 6, what's that? 36, 96. And then 32 by 4 minus 128x squared plus 24x squared. Now let's add these together. 16 is 16. Minus 64 plus 32 is minus 32. And then 96 plus 24 is 120 minus 128 is minus 8x squared. Dot, dot. Okay, I'll scroll up a bit. Well, that's actually all of it there. So write that down, please. Write it down. By two and the first one by one. Is it okay? I think you have that backwards actually. This one yeah. by three numbers. This one multiplies two numbers, and this one multiplies one number. I think. Isn't that what I did? Or what way did I do? I did one. No, actually, yeah, I wonder if that's always right. Yeah, I always seem to be doing one, then two, then three multiplications. Yeah, I think it'll always be like that. Yeah. One times two times three multiplications, yeah. So that's in total six, we said. Whereas if you were to do all of them, that would make nine. nine. So you're only really cutting out three multiplications. Yes. But that's important because the exam is only two hours. A lot of students run out of time. Okay? The exam is only two hours. The other subjects are three. So, yeah, this does matter, trying to do it quicker. Okay, did you all write that down? Uh, Not yet? Okay. This is suspicious of nothing. This is suspicious of nothing. Look at that. Guys, if you look down at your lap and smile, I know you're using your phone. Just because it's under the table doesn't mean I don't know. I'm sorry to tell you this. Okay, another example now, or do you need not yet? Okay, another example. So, what do you want to see from number four? You can have a look there, Andrew. What do you want to see from number four now? The last one. The last one? Uh, 
The one with two. What are you talking about? Oh, <laughs> that's interesting. That's very interesting. It's very hard. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I think I will do that one. <laughs> okay, so what I'm thinking, hey, I'm going to do uh, 4P and L as well. Now, if you look at L, can you all look at L for L? Uh, what's unusual about L? Yeah, but you need only two. So it should still be okay. So let's have a look first at 4P. Okay. Firstly, no, Fatima, come on. <laughs> Firstly, are in the question, is it ascending or descending? I'm sorry, we're all looking at the same one, right? 4P. Is it ascending or descending? Descending, that's better. So let's expand this descending. So the first one here. Actually, let me just make sure I have enough battery power. Okay, so the first one here, I need three terms. Yeah, I need three terms for both. Okay, so 3C0 three three is 1, and then you have your Px and your Q, plus 3C1 is 3, Pxq. Plus 3C2, which is. Three. Yeah, 3 also. PXQ, and then we close, and then the next one. 5C0, 1. X and 2. 5C1, 5. X and 2. And then finally, 5C2 is 10 x and 2. Okay. Powers here. I want ascending or descending? Descending. So, descending. so here, 3, 2, 1. And then here, 0, 1, 2. And then here also, but 5 now, 4 and 3. And then here, 0, 1 and 2. And that's a 3 here. Okay. <coughs> So this will here be P cubed X cubed plus 3 P squared Q X squared plus 3 P Q squared X. And then this one here will be X5 plus 10 X4 plus 40 x cubed. 40. Now let's do the multiplication. So, as you've noticed, firstly I do one multiplication. I do this one, the first one here with the first one here. Isn't that it? That will make the biggest power, which in this case will be, what will be the biggest power here? 8. eight. So you get p cubed x 8. And then I'll do the second one, and then how many times does this multiply? Twice. Uh, which one does it? Uh, this one by... I need to make here... Three, five, 8, 7, and 6. Yeah. So this one here, that would make a 7. 
and then x squared by yeah okay that would make a that would make a six and then that next one there would make hang on I can't see my I need my screen brightness up there we go seven and six yeah that'll do okay so what you were saying Amjad we'll take the next one and then multiply it by the two here so this one multiplying the first one would be three p squared q x seven and then multiplying the second one would be 30 p squared q x 6 and then we go on to the last one here and then this one multiplies all of them so plus 3 p squared q x 7 and then i'm going to run i'm going to run out of space so let me just put it underneath here plus yes 3p squared q. Q squared. Q squared? Here? No. Oh, sorry, I looked at the wrong one. 3, oh, sorry, my square's on the wrong one. Thank you. 3p q squared x 6. Yeah, I did that one, didn't I? Now, don't confuse me. Isn't that what I did? Right, let me just double check. So I did the first one with the first one, and that made this. And then I did the second one here with the first two. So that made this one and this one. And then finally now I'm doing the third one with the first, the second, and the third. So I've done one of them, so I have two more left to do. So now this one multiplying this one here. That'd be 30 p q squared x. No, x to the power of 6. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Five. Okay. And then this one here. Plus uh, for 120 p q squared x to the power of 4. Yeah, something went wrong there. <laughs> right. All right, I'm judge. You distracted me, so I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna do it the way I was doing it before. I'm sorry. Okay, I wanted to do it that way, but it's not working for me right now. Okay, so let's just do it the way we we're doing it before. So the first one, I want to make x eight. How can I make x eight? First one and the first one. So that's p cubed x8. Right, now how can I make x7? First one with the second one. So that would be plus 10 p cubed x7. Anything else? The second with the first, which is plus 3 p squared q x7. Now, how can I make the 6? The last one, oh, the, well, we did, okay, the second, second one. <laughs> Can I do anything with the first one? Yes, the first one and the last one. So what is that? Plus 40p cubed x6, right. Anything else? The second one and the second. So plus 30p squared q x6. And then anything else? The last one with the first one. Plus 3pq squared x6. All right, let's clean that up. So I have p cubed x8 plus, now how many x7s do I have? 10 p cubed plus 3p squared q plus is that it? That's it for x7. Okay, and then finally, x6. Yeah, 